Hey guys, it's Harv, good to see you. In this video, I thought it'd be interesting to do a quick first impression of this, the Sony 20mm 1.8. Let's do it. Just a little note about my gear reviews. I don't get this for free. I spend my own money on this. So you know when I review something, it's gonna be completely warts and all. If there's something wrong with it, it's definitely gonna be in the video. And just before we get into it, it would be amazing if you could show some love for the channel and hit the notification bell by the subscribe button. This isn't sponsored content, so this kind of thing really means a lot to me and uh, it just makes a huge difference. Cheers. So I'm not normally a huge fan of unboxing videos, so I'm not gonna do a fancy over the top shot. I'm just gonna get into it. I haven't looked in this at all yet. It just arrived today. Let's see what we got. So inside the box, we have a bag. And in here we have a nice faux leather, I'm guessing, Sony bag. This, actually, I prefer this style to the type you get with Sigma ones. They tend to be a bit too foamy and take up too much space in your camera bag um, if you want to use a bag in a bag, but that's nice. So of course we have a lens hood. It, it's, yeah, it's a lens hood. And then of course we have the lens itself. And, oh God, this is actually, this is so much smaller than I expected. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I think because I use the Sigma 20 millimeter f1.4 quite a lot, and that is a big lens, I think I was expecting something similar. So this is an f1.8 lens and the Sigma is an f1.4 um, and that that to me equates to a bigger bigger difference in terms of size than, than this because it's tiny. I just grabbed the Sigma for comparison and you can see the difference. There's, there's a huge difference. I mean it looks a bit bigger because the Sigma has that lens hood on but even if I take that off and there's a very substantial weight difference as well. I'll go into all this stuff in my review video, but for now, yeah, it's impressively compact. And of course in the box you also get this bundle of instructions, which, who needs these? Uh, they obviously go straight back into the box in case I ever want to sell this. So in terms of the feel of the lens, I am immediately struck by the fairly light feeling focus ring, which, uh, and it's very smooth, I will say, and that, is because it's a focus by wire lens and it doesn't have hard stops, obviously it just keeps going um, because of the type of focus motor inside. Let's just take the caps off and have a look and see what we've got. Now one really big draw for me with this lens is the fact that my Sigma 20mm has a very big bulbous front element and of course that means you can't add filters on the front and this one you can because it's completely yeah, it's it's sort of flat-ish and you can just add them on. It's got a 67mm filter thread, so that's quite good. I can, I can convert most of my filters. One really nice thing about this lens is it has the aperture ring on the lens, and that's so cool. It's really kind of vintage. It reminds me of the, um, the Fuji lenses, those kind of ones, which are they're just amazing lenses. Um, and it's clicky. And of course it has a D-click switch on the lens, which is just so nice if you want that, and it's just, it's quite a smooth ring. This one, by the way, I didn't mention, the focus ring is basically silent. I'm gonna put this right next to my very sensitive microphone so you can hear, and I don't think you'll be able to hear anything. Probably can't. Other than that, there's not really a lot else I can tell you. It feels really nice, it feels really kind of compact, and it is still quite weighty, um, it just feels nice. Something that may blow your mind a little bit, I've been using Sony cameras since the a7S II came out and this is my very, very first E-mount lens. I know that's surprising because I've been shooting Sony for so long, but um, honestly, I've had no need for an autofocus lens with an E-mount. So in my review video, I will go over this lens versus the Sigma and I'll, I'll see which is best basically and um, whichever one whichever one is best is the one I will keep <laughs> and keep using um, because it, this is actually the the focal length I use when I shoot the videos when I'm at my desk. Um, so let's try it, shall we? I'm going to shove it on the camera here. I'm using a 50mm. I'm going to go to a 20mm. So I'll swap them over and I'm going to have to move the camera way, way closer. But that's fine. Let's do it. 
So here we go, this is the first time I've hit record with the Sony 20mm, I've got it on the Sony a7S III and it was disconcerting when I first um, put the lens on because I'm used to hearing lens, you know, focusing noise and this obviously you, you, there's no noise whatsoever. I can move around and it's focusing brilliantly as the a7S III usually does and no noise whatsoever. Anyway, that's it for now. My review is coming soon. If you have any specific questions about this lens, ask me in the comments of this video and I'll do my very best to answer them in my full review, which will be out in, you know, a few weeks time. I hope you enjoyed this first look of the Sony 20mm f1.8. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.